I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you how to cook corned beef. Now you can do this in two different ways. You can cook it on your stovetop in a large pot or you can put it in your oven. Basically you'd be kind of braising it in there. Today I am going to do it on my stovetop and then you have another couple options. You could boil this when they come in their packages they often give you the option of poking the bag with uh, holes and then boiling it in the bag. But I don't think that that's necessary and I kind of don't think that's all that healthy either. Uh, there's ink and stuff on that plastic. I don't want it to just be boiling in that the whole time. So I'm going to just take it out of the package. It's already been um, cured. It's got salt and, and mustard and all kinds of spices. It smells delicious. This is a one kilogram uh, corned beef brisket. So that's what we're looking at. It's kind of a bigger one. And that's gonna go inside of a pot that's going to be able to fit it all the way to the bottom, like you easily, okay? You don't wanna be folding it and it all up. But you also don't wanna use a pot that's too big or you'll be using too much water and you're gonna leach a lot of that flavor out. So this one fits just snugly in here. And I'm gonna pour cold water over top of this. Now, don't think that corned beef's gonna be quick. Corned beef is going to take anywhere between two and three and a half hours for something this big, okay? You want to just cover that meat just over top of it. I'm going to put it on my stove top and we're going to add just a couple seasonings. It certainly won't need any more salt, so I'm not going to add any more salt. I'm going to add a little bit of mustard seed, maybe half a teaspoon. I'm going to use this water later as well to boil some potatoes in there and some carrots as well. So it'll be kind of a whole meal. Some chili flakes, maybe half a teaspoon couple peppercorns, whole peppercorns, I don't know, maybe 10. And we're gonna add a bay leaf. Now this is not necessary, but I like to add a little bit more flavor where you can, why not? So cover your corned beef up. We're gonna bring this up to a boil as quickly as possible. We're gonna turn it down to a simmer, just a low bubble. I don't want this meat to fall apart, okay? I do want it to be nice and tender, but I don't want it to just fall apart, especially since I did not leave it in the bag. So you want to be gentle with the simmer, and that's why it's going to take so long. It's going to take two to three and a half hours to soften up those tissues inside of there. That brisket needs some help, and that's okay. It's going to be delicious. At the end, we're going to brown it up. We're going to have a full meal, and we're going to see. This is a perfect meal for the weekend. Today is a Sunday, or you can do this beautiful meal for St. Patrick's Day, something like that, okay? Nice and hearty, uh, very satisfying type of meal, okay? So let's bring this up to a boil. Let that go, keep checking on it, making sure everything's okay and it's on a nice low simmer. And you'll see me with this one in about two hours and 45 minutes, I would say, okay? Just under three hours. All right, I've allowed this to go for three hours and we're ready to get it into the oven to brown. I just want it to brown slightly, just for aesthetic reasons. Not that it needs it or anything like that. If you're fine with it just like this, then leave it. Um, I'm just going to get it out of the water here. I have a greased up or, or sprayed up pan, baking dish. Oh, it's tender. It's beautiful. It is not falling apart. We're all good. Now you also have a very flavorful liquid here and we are going to boil up some potatoes and carrots. By the time our brisket, our corned beef brisket is brown from the oven, 15 minutes or 20 minutes ish, then uh, our potatoes, I don't know, six, eight potatoes. I always try and do extra potatoes for breakfast in the morning for a quick fry. Um, and I have three large carrots just cut into chunks. Bring that back up to a boil, turn it down to a simmer and let it go for as long as you need this to brown up as well. So we're gonna let that go for 15 minutes or so. That's what it looks like. It smells amazing. Oh, so excited. I love corned beef. In it goes. All right, this corned beef is going to brown in the oven on 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes, or until you see it's a little bit nice and browned on the outside. Now, this water is beautifully seasoned. It has all kinds of flavor in it from the corned beef, as well as all those spices. And I've got these veggies in there. They're just gonna soak in all that gorgeous flavor. So you don't really need to add anything else, not, not anything. No salt, no pepper, unless you really want to. 
All right, I've just been keeping my corned beef warm. My potatoes and carrots needed about another five minutes. That's okay. We're just gonna move this over. We're gonna cut this and then we'll get our veggies out in just a second. Beautiful. Look at this gorgeous corned beef. Gorgeous. Oh, nice and tender. You can just feel it. And we're gonna cut this guy, get some nice slices going on. I'm gonna cut it kind of on a bias. Oh, it smells, oh my goodness, that smells good. You can serve this with mustard, some people like that. The first day we eat it, sometimes we have leftovers. <laughs> um, the first day we eat it, we eat it just like this. But then the second day, sandwiches with mustard. Oh, come on, look at this gorgeous meat. Oh, it's just like falling apart, it's so, tender and moist mmm mmm full of flavor mm. Mm. now corned beef is great but it's even better when you do it yourself so that should get us started for right now I'm just gonna put it on a platter here look at this meat it is just simply falling apart it is just absolutely glorious just what you want corned beef to be mmm and we'll get our veggies out. Now, since I boiled up some extra potatoes for breakfast, I also boiled some eggs. So <laughs> we're ready for tomorrow as well. You could just throw it all in there all at the same time. And now you're prepared for another meal as well. We've got something special going on here. Look at that. Oh, with the gorgeous red potatoes and the carrots. Bring that to the table and <laughs> don't see everybody smile. Wow. That's going to be good. I'm gonna grab this little end bit. Oh, look at that. Ooh wee. Mm. The meat is like almost buttery. It's like, mm, just so good. <laughs> mm. You can taste all those spices it was, it was cured with. Mm. It's salty. Mm. That's a gorgeous dinner. Mm. I'm gonna grab one of these carrots. Now don't throw out that liquid that you just boiled everything in. You can use that for a very flavorful soup or stew this week. Mmm. Mmm. They're perfect. Perfectly tender and perfectly seasoned. Delicious. Mmm. Easy, perfect accompaniment to this delicious dinner. Mmm. That's how you do it, folks. That's how you cook corned beef with boiled potatoes and carrots. You can do it too. Uh, what a gorgeous meal, but make sure you set yourself enough time to, to do this. These guys do take quite some time to simmer, okay? That's it. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E, like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly, youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. You can find my channel on Roku Cooking with Kimberly, and I'm also syndicated on Apple TV. Come to my website at cookingwithkimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.